because I'm learning how to be a teacher. So that is why the camera's on. It's really only pointed at me. They can see your heads, but that's it. So, okay. Who, with a quiet hand, I need three people to be able to tell me what three community helpers did we talk about last week? Okay. Asa? What's one of them? A nurse. A nurse. That was one of them, yes. Um, Autumn. Um, a firefighter. A firefighter. Liam? A police. Police officer. Good job. These were the three we talked about last week. Remember? Mm -hmm. Today, we're going to be talking about three new ones. So, I have my mystery box. And we're going to see if we can recognize the clues for some of them. So, the first one's a little bit confusing, but we'll see if you can get it. Quiet hands, remember? <gasps> Edgar. A lighter. Librarian, that's our first community helper. How many of you, just a raise of hands, have been to the library? Everybody has a person. You have a school library and there's a town library, right? Yeah. Librarians can be ladies or men, doesn't matter. Now librarians help us find good books. There's all kinds of books out there, but not all of them are quality, good books. If you go to the library, she knows where to find the books, what books are good books, she can look them up by the author. Most of you have been to the library. Now, librarians also have special programs where they read to you. Watertown Library does that. They'll have a day where children can come and they'll read to you. That's like an article. They also help you pick out the right kind of books. You've all done that. And they help you check out your books and then they let you know when they're due. Librarians are really good community helpers because they help us find really good books and we don't have to pay for them. This here is a library book. See? I didn't buy it. I just checked it out. All right? At so that's library. our first community at helper. At the library. At the library. Not at your school in town. Oh. All right. So librarians. Let's see what our second one is going to be. This is going to be a little bit tricky. Uh, yes, Mason. Uh, a mailman. A mailman! Now we say mailman and that's okay, but mailman can be ladies or men, girls or boys. My mail lady is a lady. It's a lady that drives up in a truck and delivers my mail. So they're actually called mail carriers. And, All right. And they sit on the other side of the vehicle. Mm -hmm. They sit on the other side of the vehicle and they bring you your mail. Sometimes they work on weekends and even <coughs> on holidays. Sometimes. I would like to show you a picture super quick. You see this person? Mm -hmm. yeah. This is my brother. His name is David, and he's a mail carrier in Waukesha. So I have a family member that does this, and he talks about being a mail carrier and how cold it is in the winter yeah. because they do it in summer. See how he's got short, this lady's got shorts on? She has to carry the mail in a bag, and it's heavy. My brother has to do that. Some of his routes, he has to carry the mail. And in the winter, when it's so cold. That sounds horrible. Even on Christmas Day. Sometimes on Christmas Day. Because, um, it, because it's the best day. But remember how we talked about the sacrifices that community workers do? That's one of them. They have to deliver mail even when it's super, super cold. And you know what? Another thing is that, and this is something I know because my brother told me, sometimes dogs attack them. Sometimes people steal mail. Yeah. These are things that happen, but they're really important community workers. And we don't always recognize them because they come while we're at school. So, all right. Last one. Oops, this goes down here. This one's a little bit tricky. Um, you haven't answered one yet. Okay, um, not a farmer. Apple picker? Apple picker, nope. Ooh, Sophia? Um, an artist? No. Uh, you have an answer with me, Seal. Uh, you're trying to cut an apple? <laughs> oh, no, I'm just messing with it. Um, you know? A gardener? Not a gardener. It's. It doesn't have anything it to do with fruit, exactly. I know what it is. Edgar? It is um, a teacher. A teacher, good. Very good. The reason I have an apple is 
traditionally, children used to come in and give their teacher an apple. So sometimes you have decorations, teacher decorations that have an apple on it. That's why it stands for teacher. And scissors, because teachers use scissors all the time. There's not really one thing to put in the box to represent a teacher, because teachers do lots and lots and lots of things, don't they? Can you point in the room to a teacher? Yeah. Oh, I'm not a teacher yet. That's a teacher. I am learning how to be a teacher. I'm sort of, I'm teaching you right now. I'm sort of a teacher. Teachers can be ladies and men. Doesn't matter. And teachers do lots and lots of things for the community. Like Mr. Blue, but he retired. Who's Mr. Blue? Teachers teach you, obviously. And they're helping because you, listen, 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 all of you and everybody at Schurz and Webster and Lincoln and every school in Watertown, you are the future of Watertown. All of you in a few years are going to be the adults, making the decisions, voting, you're going to be doing all those things. And teachers are the ones that are helping you learn to think critically, to read, to make choices. Those are very important. So that's why teachers are such important community helpers, because they are teaching the future of America. I'm going to be your own For real. And they do lots of things. And do you know that when you go home and teachers go home, they don't stop working? They do mm -hmm. more at home. I read that in a book. OK, shh. So just OK, so we talked about how firefighters, it's hard to breathe in the fires, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And it's dangerous to be inside a fire and to save people, and, and for big. police officers, it's hard to chase criminals and help people when they call the police and they're crying and they don't, you can't understand them, no and it's dangerous, Shh. and they have to arrest people, and that's super hard, and nurses, they help with babies, sometimes people get sick and die, they have to be around sick people, and sometimes they get sick, and sometimes they have to hurt people, I mean, they have to help people who are hurt, and that's really hard, right? Why does it say hurt people? People that are hurt. So, now we're going to talk about librarians. What do you think is difficult about being a librarian? All right, and I can only take four people. So, Mauricio. Um, they help people look for books. All right, well, I think that's pretty good. We have a lot on here. These are a lot of the sacrifices. No, it's okay that people make. And so today, what I want you to do is think in your mind about these people. Some of you, well, any of you could be one of these people someday if you really wanted to. You really, really could. It's not always easy, but it's very rewarding. That means that you're helping other people, and so you feel like you're really helping and doing a good thing. It's rewarding. Do you get paid for being a teacher? You get paid for being a teacher. So, so much today, I would like you to, you have two choices. You can either choose any one of these people, and we wrote down some of the things they do, and write a thank you note to them. And be, you have to be specific and thank, if, like if you were writing a letter to a librarian, you could say, thank you, Watertown Librarian, for putting the books away and for helping me find books. Those are specific things they do. Or you could think in your mind, if I were a police officer or a nurse, this is the, these are the things that I would do. So you can choose. You can either write a thank you note to any one of these six that we talked about, or you can you can think in your mind what it would be like if you were one of those people. But you have to be specific about the things that you would be doing. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they mean. Well, for sports, some people enjoy hunting. Alex just talked about his dad hunting and some people go to Africa. My dad got a huge my dad got two. Oh, wow. Well, 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 I guess I don't think Dan did because in the Netherlands uh, it's really hard to open because there's not as much land. I did. And of course not. You wouldn't even use a G. And it's one of the worstest things ever. Yeah. 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 Yeah.